Hi everyone, welcome back to Growing Up in Scientology. So I have been failing in my effort to upload short little videos every day. Once I go for a few days without doing videos, it's very hard to get back on the horse and keep doing them. Life is so much simpler and easier without having to do a video each day. But there's one video I had to do before it was too late, and that is the video about the Micrinder bobblehead. But let me tell you the quick story about how this bobblehead came to be. Now look, I messed up my bobblehead. I stuck him head down in a backpack with a bunch of other stuff and he came out with uh, some herniated discs. How this came to be is Mark Headley got these made. And the idea for making these came from something the Church of Scientology put out in an effort to actually insult Mike. In one of their ads, one of them was this very schlubby looking bobblehead doll in one of their little advertisements. The insult was supposed to be that on the show, Mike just sits there and nods his head and agrees with whatever Leah says and that he's just, just doing whatever Leah wants him to do. And it was supposed to be this insult. And so Mark Head was like, that bobblehead looks like shit. I can get a really nice bobblehead made and we, we can sell these as a fundraiser for the Aftermath Foundation. So Mark Headley did this entire thing, and this is actually one of the production models. We got 500 of these made. We only put them on sale maybe a week, week and a half ago. We only have 60 left. So Mark created a website called the thespshop.com. So T-H-E-S-P-S-H-O-P.com, the thespshop.com. And this is the first item for sale on the spshop.com. They cost 30 bucks. Um, shipping is extra and shipping is standard rate in the US. It's more expensive in other countries, but just check the website, it'll give you what the rate is. Once they are sold out, we are not going to immediately get more made. We've got some other surprise items coming up that will be launched on the spshop.com. But this was really just a very clever, cheeky way to take something that the church did that was supposed to be an insult and turn it into something pretty funny and pretty cool in a way to raise money for the foundation. And so the other thing that Mark did is he started a photo contest on Twitter. Now the thing is most of the people who are buying these are on Facebook and they're in the supporters of Leah Remini group on Facebook and most of them are not on Twitter, which is a shame because the photo competition is really on Twitter. We're gonna see if we can incorporate um, some of what's happening on Facebook into the competition. But people are doing kind of like a, where in the world is Mike Jr.? Mark called this bobble render, but we also call it Mike Jr. I call it Mike Jr. And so people are taking photos of, of Mike Jr. Uh, in all sorts of places, doing all sorts of crazy things and putting it on Facebook and putting it on Twitter. Whoever gets the most likes and retweets will get some extra special prize from Mark. Mike Jr. does have his own Twitter account. It's either Bobble Render or Bobblehead Render or I will, I will post a link to it down below because the exact handle escapes me at the moment. But man, it's funny. The SP Shop also has a Twitter account. I think it's a lot of fun. I keep him in my truck. Anywhere I go, if it's somewhere new or interesting, I'll bring Mike Jr. along and take some photos and put it on Twitter or Instagram or Facebook or anything. Anyway, it's just hilarious. It's just something to have fun with. Like I said, there's only 60 left out of a run of 500. Once they're gone, we can get them reordered. We're just not going to right away. We're just not going to right away. We don't want to have hundreds and hundreds of these things in inventory at a time. We knew that on the first run, they were going to sell out pretty quickly, but it is to raise money for the foundation. So we're not trying to hold on to any significant amount of inventory. We're only trying to produce what we think is going to sell very quickly. So, all right guys, 60 left. Place your order if you want one. And uh, that's all I got for now. Me and Mike Jr. say, talk to you guys soon. Bye. Okay, if you wanna see my rock and roll songs, click right on this guitar. And if you wanna see a, a different one of my videos, uh, then you could click right inside here. If you have subscribed or not, subscribe right here. Bye!